Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, recently, I came across an issue when trying to call the API from a third party, and then um, it saw that error message why train is uh, could not uh, connect to SSL or TSL channel. Um, at first, I thought it may be the the uh, API issue, but actually, uh, it's some bit of code you can add in to sort out the situation. Let's take a look to the issue I got. Here's the application, the console application I just create to uh, reproduce the error. So we're going to call the API, and then let let have a look. So when you send a request to the API, it goes to the error exception area. And the exception is really uh, generic. One or more error occur. But when you have a look uh, a bit closer, you see the inner exception is an occur, occur while sending a request. Uh, let me take a look a bit closer. You're going to see the request was aborted, could not create the SSL and TFL security channel. That issue is, I believe, many people have go out searching over the internet and see a lot of people got that issue. So I make this video and hope uh, it can help you to got uh, the same issue at the moment and it can save you some time. So here's my solution. Um, it's quite simple, actually. Uh, you need to add a bit of code in between uh, before you sending the HTTP request. You need to set up the circuit point manager setting. Please make sure you got a setting before you send the request. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Let's try to run the app again yeah okay the console app running and then ignore my IVG um, please and now we're going to call the 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 API and then we go to the setting and then now it's uh, the live we're going to call the API methods yes yeah, so and no error exception anymore and it gets the data back from the API um, so the issue is sorted I hope uh, this will help you uh, happy coding.